That's cute. cute. Very cute. That is a scene I cannot even comprehend what, anymore. What, going, hitting the bars? Being a single in the bars today, I can't even, it, it must be Well, it's a, it's scary. not, a, it's not a great feeling because you don't know what you're talking to. You really don't. People no. pretend a lot. Yeah. And yeah, you really don't know. All right, so there is, there is, unless they're drunk and then you see the real them, right? That's true. Yeah. Yeah, the real, the real them does come out. All right. Mm. So we're talking about, we talk a lot about text messages and stuff. A lot of people, one in 10, claim they've been dumped by a text message. Okay. But here's some yeah. of this, here's some of the scarier stuff, I think. 25% admit to flirting with someone they shouldn't by text. Because you don't feel like. You feel like it's not cheating. Yeah. It's not. There's yeah. a buffer. You're not actually mm. seeing them. But they're not thinking it. One in three admit to reading their partner's text messages. You got a problem if you're doing that. You got a big problem in your relationship. You may not be voicing that problem to one another, but you've got one. I did that before. You had good reason. <laughs> one in ten listen to their partner's voicemails. All right, so they're no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Frank and I don't even know how to access each other's voicemails. <laughs> Frank said to me the other day, I think I should learn to text. I said, no, no you're good. You don't need to know. I don't need to know how to email, and you don't need to know how to text. I think that that can be, if you have suspicions, it's a, and you don't, I mean, you want to be trusting, but you wonder, your husband's been out late, what's going on, and his phone is sitting right there looking at you. Well, you so, wouldn't click around a don't little? Don't you have a number? Don't you have a pass? A sometimes keep you have. Sometimes, sometimes you do. Yeah. But sometimes you don't. I don't know. I just think it's very sad if, you, if you've got to be snooping around, obviously. Uh, you can, I think if you have a gut feeling that something's wrong, you're not one of those crazy neurotic girls, but if you really think something's wrong and he keeps telling you nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, a lot of people do find out that way, don't they? They yes. do. Yes. They do find out that way. And it, it's just sad. It's just one more thing. I don't know how anybody stays together in today's world. Really? I honestly don't. So many things pulling at you. Right. And kids, I mean, they're all, they all go to these movies and they, they're bombarded by sexual messages from the time they're little. They're not allowed to be children anymore. Right. They're already having, you know, their little baby chinos and they're wearing their little <laughs> name. And they're getting, they're, oh, yeah. I, you know, I mean, I think we're going to pay a price culturally for yeah. all of this. I truly do. And, you know, we live on our technology, so it makes us want to think, what's on his technology? Yeah. What's on her technology? Yeah. You know, you're right. But you know what? What's in your heart is what I want to know. Tell me what's in your heart. Sit down and have a conversation. You know, I just started reading that book, which I don't know why it took me so long, The Happiness Project. Yeah. You've been talking By about this way, for about a week now, Hoda. That's a great book. And they, they bring up very obvious things. I was telling you this one, but there's a great story about a little boy who's playing with the shiny blue car, and he loves it so much. He plays with it. He takes care of it. He puts it in the drawer. He doesn't want anything it's to happen to thing. it. favorite thing. Favorite thing. And his mom sees how happy he is. So she yeah. says, you know what? I'm going to get him some more of those. So she gets him four more of the exact same blue cars, and suddenly he's not interested in any of them. And it's that whole thing about in life. Like, you have something, you treasure it, and when you get a, a mass of things, when yeah. you get, it's like too much ice cream. Or too if much only anything. that were two of women with men. They can't get I enough. I know. You know? Yeah, you one's not enough. They want five of them. <laughs> <laughs> Good ones.